Ezekiel, excuse me, Isaiah 37, 16, and 17. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, ever thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. Thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thy ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words. Senemeke, which hath sent to reproach the living God. That is what I call a great amount of prayer. One, it contains praise. Two, it contains a question of the Lord. And three, it gives the desired solution or outcome of the living heart that is doing the praying. Now, Today is September 26th, and it is the National Day of Prayer. And if you're not already at your local church praying for this nation, praying for yourself, praying for your family, giving yourself permission to heal, telling each other to forgive, and wanting, wanting, and desiring a particular type of solution or outcome that pertains to having a faith in God and in God alone. You're missing out. You're missing out. Okay. Lifers, this one's going to be real short. But we all need to pray. Now, in several other episodes, talks about why, you know, why we need to pray. But what's the purpose of it? Why would we express ourselves to the Lord like this? Why would we even care to ask him for anything or to say thank you for anything? Well, he is our creator. He created you and me. And he gives a darn about us. He's put a lot of the incredible great challenges and rewards and fulfillments in our path. He's he's given us our path. He's made things doable for us. So some of the other purposes of prayer are when we're going into times of war. And if you're not living in a town or a city where you've literally watched a horrible, horrific civil war worse than those of Iran and Iraq, I don't know what to tell you. The sun will come out. And yet, we still have a good purpose to pray because sometimes it just doesn't seem like the sun is out. Like, it's like, like, like anything's ever going to end. Like, we're always going to be in our year of Job, or in my case, decade. So, many purposes of prayer. Many purposes for prayer. Jeremiah, the great prophet, prayed nearly constant. That was his life. That's how he knew and understood that, you know, these, 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 these conflicts that he was in, that he was seeing, and the struggles that he witnessed to, and the messages that God gave him that were beautiful and amazing and would come to fruition. That's how he basically knew what God was talking about. So you may not think that you understand why you are praying, but start out with your question, your desire, and your gratitude first and foremost, and God will talk back. I can pretty much guarantee that. 
Now, as I let you go and, you know, get on into doing that, if you can't go inside your church because of this um, lie, <laughs> um, or if you must wear a mask, give yourself a few minutes. You know, you don't have to be in there for hours and hours and hours on end. God is not expecting that from you. Nowhere in the Bible does it expect, you know, does he even go there? He doesn't want you to expire in that manner. And he warned us already in the Bible, after many prophets prayed, that these types of COVIDs would occur. So, considering they're man-made and they're not real and... Yeah. Anyway, you think you get my point. Um, I want you to go to Matthew chapter 6. And I want you to remember that when you do pray not to do this, Matthew 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites, or the Pharisees, really, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in our cases, chapels and churches and gatherings and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say to you, when they do, they have their reward. Yeah. A lot of places in the gospel about that subject matter. I love you all very much. Happy National Day of Prayer. And go out and do that. Go out and forgive. Go out and talk about your faith. That in and of itself is a prayer. Go sing. Go sing a song today. The Bible, the Word of God, asks us to make a joyful noise, not a pretty one. So, talk to you soon. Pray lots. Bye-bye now.